Corey. Hey, what's going on, man? That was my computer. It just choked. Yeah, I, I thought it was you because I'm like, I heard you say we're losing Corey. I'm like, I can still hear him. And I checked my thing right away and I, I'm going to get the video back. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Damn. Uh, Sorry about that. Was, that's fine. I don't have a problem. I'm have to turn on video. Yeah, I thought, because I'm like, oh, I heard him say we lost Corey. I'm like, I can still hear him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you know where we uh, left off? Um, Here, I'll play it. Let me see. <laughs> Maybe, you know, he can just try something, but... Uh, we, we just ended off the story about... Um, oh, the guy. Okay, yeah, we're done with that. Yeah, yeah. The, the power. We'll just... Yeah. So you can take it from where, whenever you're ready. All right. So I've been uh, doing a lot of Mac installs lately. Little we'll reinstalls on I'm getting to figure with that flash that flashback or something, that Mac virus, I guess. Flash something. Is that I don't, I, don't, I, I didn't get it. I don't even know. I mean, I never I don't I didn't get it either. But a lot of people have been coming out a lot about four or five, but they're like, Oh, I got infected and That's amazing. This is like the yeah, first like, you, this is like the first Mac virus where somebody has to call in a technician. This is and from what I heard to get infected, you gotta like do two or three you gotta click on the thing and like it's it's pretty hard, I guess, to get infected from what I read. I don't know, like, where they're going. I mean... Mac users are not geeks, I don't think. For the, well, I mean, some of them are, obviously. But, like, a lot of people aren't, I don't think. I just think that they're not used to the same thing. I, I just think that they're not used to... They've heard all, you know, years and Macs don't get infected and that whole, you know, Macs don't. So I think they're just so... I don't know, maybe not used to... I don't know. They're, they're, they're just to, they're just used to, not used to having like something bad happen something on their machine. Something bad happens. So when it does, they're like, "Ooh!" Because like, I think I it's like, I think I need to call somebody because it's getting real slow. And Sophos has a thing you can run to tell if it's infected, and then they say it cleans it. But like I said previously, I just back didn't. The lady hardly had anything on there. So what do you use this computer for? Oh, I use it for Gmail. I'm like you bought a Mac uh, <laughs> a MacBook Pro for Gmail. Okay. <laughs> What a Each waste. Their own, I guess. What a waste. But yeah, she had like no she had like three pictures. Oh I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> what do you, what do you uh or what did you do to get it off? Ran sofas? I ran sofas, but then I just redid the, I just redid the machine because I just uh, like I said, I just wanted to be sure and the lion's easy to reinstall. Then I told I think I said in the previous show I can moist uh Mac has voiceover, so command F five and it starts talking, it will read everything on the screen, it's free and right during the boot up, it will command F five, run starts talking and and it's good voice and everything. So it, the Mac is the easiest to work on for me. Wow. That's interesting to know. Yeah, it's great. Now, now, this yeah. was like a newish, a newer MacBook Pro? Yeah. Damn. It was the last year's model. The yeah. last, you know. If it has line on it, I guess it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm actually getting psyched personally <laughs> for the new MacBook Pros because I'm due. I, mine is just old. The new ones are supposed to be like. Yeah, thinner, thinner, right? Thinner, yeah. Thinner. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, I'm going to get one too. I mean, I. I have, I don't have one currently, but my friend, I've been working on these. And I'm like, oh, I, I really, I'm not a big laptop person to be honest with you. I really, but I like the feel of that the keyboard, it feels really nice. So it doesn't feel like a laptop to me. I mean, I know it is, but it's the whole feel. It's a real nice, feels really nice. Yeah, so. it's just solid. It, it does. Solid. It a, the, a nice, nice feel to it. I agree. We'll see. I, I'm curious about them, but I am kind of excited. I'm, I'm definitely due for one. Yeah, I'm hearing th I'm hearing good things about uh, Mountain Lion, so we'll see how that comes out. I'm worried about the uh, Apple operating system. I think they're dumbing it down too much. They are, yeah. Well, so is Windows 8, because I tried, so is Windows 8, in my opinion. I tried that, too. Did the, you? I'm on TechNet, yeah, I'm kind of one of the, we're not TechNet, I use that, but I mean, I have, I tried that, and I don't know. For me, I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't like, like, the ribbons and all, because hard, I mean, from personal, for me, I don't like all that, and I just think the tablification of the OS that they're putting on, you know, like uh, it's not a phone, it's a computer. I don't, you know, know <laughs> where that's coming. I mean, I know where it's coming from, but I just don't think, I think if I want to use my phone, I'll use my phone. I want to use a computer. I'll use a computer. I mean, I don't, I don't get the whole Metro apps and I know all they're, that. I they're, they're just a little backwards over there. I don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I have an iPhone. So I guess some people, I know you guys are in your Android, but I've just worked for me at the time. The speech is just a little more improved on, on the iPhone. So I bought that, but I don't still, hold it. I don't hold it. Anybody who has uh, buys Apple products, I don't hold anything against them. <laughs> I mean, after all, I did buy an iPad. I'm getting help oh, yeah. for it. I'm getting help for it. Uh, but there, you know, it's I, I see iPhones all over. I, it doesn't bother me at all. I don't go. I don't scorn them. <laughs> so, uh, damn, what were we at? We got talking about Macs, and I'm sure we pissed a lot of oh, people yeah. off about that. Oh, oh. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We're gonna put a time marker in the show at five. You know, eight forty-two. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, let's see here. I, I, mean, I thought of something too. I was going to talk about. Um... It's on the art, like on the last episode of Art of Podcasting. I literally drew a blank at the very end of the show and um, I couldn't think of anything to talk about. <laughs> um. So what are you thinking? No, I was thinking about this. I was trying to think of the story, the, um, the story, I, this computer I was working on the other day where it, it was um, constantly, re you'd start it, it would reboot. You'd, you'd go into Windows, you hear the little the log on sound, mm -hmm. reboot, and it would just reboot, continue. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do anything. But I'm like, I want to see why. Was, curiosity was like, why is it doing this? Like I just, so had to, this is, this is part of what I wanted to explain here. It's part of being blind, which is sucks because I didn't know what was going on on the screen. Like I didn't know what was happening because I just heard the set. Then they said the computer worked fine. This was the, they said the computer worked fine. Well, why did they call you? It worked fine, but it was slow is what they uh. said. It worked fine, but it was a little slow. I'm like, well, it didn't work fine, but I have a document. I have people sign, man, that says, you know, how was it working that and used and I had I had the person wait for when I when they were there and they were like oh but it wasn't doing this I'm like well it wasn't you just brought it here you know what I mean you just brought it and I and I I sometimes I record people I'll tell them like you know instead of like you know you're on the phone just call maybe record it for quality you know yeah you say sometimes that, you I'll, say that to me? sometimes I'll record people yeah just because I know what's going on like I have a little Olympus DM six twenty recorder I'll just throw that on you know so I can <laughs> but you have to tell them right yeah I'll tell them oh yeah you got to tell them you can't just but well, yeah, how do I'll you how them. do you say that to them. I say, I say something like, well, I'm going to, I want to talk to them on the phone and they come and then, cause usually I don't have people, usually I'll meet somebody somewhere where like with, usually I'll have either. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. The stupid computer. I thought we'd lost connection. The stupid no, computer. No. My computer started talking. I was like, what? what's going on? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. That's like, all right. Well, Skype started talking about random calls click over the, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll just tell them that I'm going to be recording this conversation. So, so I have proof of what people said, you know, I've had some problems. I had some problems in the past with a couple of customers. I can get into those stories too. I had some problems like a guy with porn on his computer. I fixed it once. He came back a day later and he was like, Oh, you didn't do any, you, di you didn't do anything to this computer. You didn't do anything. You know, I redid the whole machine and everything. It was clean. He came back next day porn. I mean, he didn't even shut it down. He didn't even turn the computer off. So you turn it on and it came up with, do you want to load the last browse, you know, the session, you know, when it yeah. says, do you want to, yeah. so all oh, this stuff just came up, you know, young girls, all this stuff came up and I'm like, man, I'm like, what are you? He's like, oh no, it was, you didn't fix it. You didn't do anything. Cause after that, I started like recording people, you know, just recording the conversations I had with people. Sure. Even, I can understand that. Just because, you know, it's, they can say not that it's just crazy that people think, so anyway, back to I'm rambling, I guess, not doing good story topics here. But anyway, so the computer <laughs> kept kept restarting. And um, so I wanted to figure out what was wrong. And so my girlfriend looked at it. She said, yeah, we'll get to the part where you load the desktop and then reboot. So I had heard somewhere about um, explore.exe being corrupt. Okay. That's what I came up with. So then I used um, the boot um the boot pe environment i have a windows uh, live it's like it's like a windows pre-install environment and i replaced explorer.exe with a good one it was windows 7 64 bit i replaced it with a good known explorer.exe and that fixed that problem but of course i did my scans and the computer did seem slow but some, something was definitely else wrong with the registry keys the desktop was you'd put thing the icons were all messed up and but yeah, the export actually did at least boot it made it boot at least it did boot into windows damn well i mean so, that's a good start how, did, yeah, how did you get the rest of it cleaned up i used that actually i the guy the guy didn't wanted it back real quick he was like oh i don't i was like well i can do a reinstall or you know if you sign off on this i can just do a quick you know, he wanted his computer so he's like i need my computer today i'm like okay i need it like in an hour or two he wanted it back oh, and it usually takes a long time like, I just want it working. I'm like, all right. So I wrote up a quick little document. I just try to cover that I did do, and you you agreed that I did not do a reinstall. You know that you just wanted your computer back within you know this time specified time period, and I printed it out and he signed it and went on his way. So I just want to try to cover myself, just being blind, just trying to cover myself, being a technician. Just get, so I'm just trying to cover them when I write these little documents up and how legal they are. But at least it's something. Yeah, it probably they, they probably are binding. <laughs> they probably are if somebody signs it. You know. Yeah, quick little notepad document. Yeah, good idea. It's better to be safe. I agree. <laughs> cool. What else you so, got? Um, let's see what else. 
Um, I have an issue that I had today with started with this KVM I was working on for somebody and I was to try to hear um, the four port KVM with audio and, you know, USB. And this thing would not show up on the monitors. You could put monitors up, it would work fine. Any USB keyboard and mouse wouldn't work. Just don't work at all. I called it IO gear. I called them up and the guy was like, you have to use, you can't use a good, a good keyboard. It's got to be like an old Dell keyboard. What? I'm like, I've never heard of this. And the guy was like, oh, yeah. He's, what kind of mouse are you using? I'm like, I don't know. It's a Microsoft Intelli. I don't know. It's like a mouse, you know? It's not yeah. anything special. He's like, oh, no, no. It's got to be like a, a an old mouse. I'm like, this thing, is, like, what do you sell this thing then? What the? No, yeah, none of this, this is, is a box. guy at IO Gear was saying this? IO Gear, oh, yeah. He was going on. You, yeah, it can't be just a, you know, a little while ago, two hours. Yeah. That's why I was you know talking to you, but a little, a little while ago, yeah. Just, that's messed up. I actually never, had IO gears at uh, my shop. I liked them, but that was. Yeah, I, I heard good things about them, but yeah. I guess not. I don't know. It wouldn't work. And he was like, oh, and they're expensive. I mean, they're pretty expensive. I guess when I mean, there's some more expensive ones, but this one, I guess, was 80, 90 bucks for a four port on Newegg, but it was the audio that the person wanted on. And I, I was going to get one myself because I, I have a two port right now with audio. That the you know, main thing is the audio I needed, but yeah. That was, uh, it's hard to find a good, and I'm sorry, researching it for him. It's hard to find a good KVM, believe it or not. People on Newegg and all the reviews and Amazon Newegg, there's like, no one's happy. You really? Can, you, overall, I mean, three out of five, two out of five. I mean, this one got three out of five. So I was like, oh, it had like a hundred something. I thought it was pretty good. But, and the cable lengths are so short. I had to, like the USB cables, they're so, it's unbelievable how short that, how do they expect people without using extension cables to even hook this thing up? Like, really? The shortest cable, I mean, like, the guy, we had like two computers sitting right next to it. We had to like stretch the KVM, had to have it like sitting on the floor. I'm like, oh, this isn't cool. How do they expect people to even hook this thing up? <laughs> That's so lame. I guess you I learned your lesson about IO gear. Yeah, now I'm going to look for another one for him. That was, I was like, oh, I'll find you one. I'm like, did you I'll return it? it? Yeah, well, yeah, they, well, they got to call new, they got to call new way. You can go through that hole. Yeah, what a pain. I hate yeah. returning things. I hate that too. It's restocking or something else. And they, they're that. really, they're going to get you on a restocking fee? Yeah, I probably, I'm trying not to. I'm going to say that didn't work, but it's defective. Newegg, yeah, it's defective. I'm just going to say, but Newegg, I don't know, last couple of times I had a bad, I like using them, but I've had bad, bad luck with motherboard. I did a motherboard install a couple months ago and pins were bent on the, I took pictures of it too, right? When I would, but of course they could say, oh, those pictures are fixed. You did it and took a picture afterwards. So I guess, yeah, but the pins were bent for the USB three um, header. It's one of the new ones that had a USB three header right on the board. And the USB header pins were bent Damn. right out of the box. That and they were sucks. like, oh, we, you must have done this. You know, this doesn't happen. And so what I ended up doing with that, actually, is I ended up dealing with a sus directly because it was new way wanted to charge me the restock. I said, forget that. And, and a sus, it took a while. I mean, it took probably six weeks to get a board back. To really? Get the board. And new, well, they sent me a brand new one. It wasn't even a refurb. They wouldn't even have refurbished this because it was one of the new P68 boards. It, it was a $275 board. They don't, they, we don't have refer, you know, refurbished or, you know, whatever. I'm like, good. The thing just came out. I'd hope not. Say they told you that there's no way that could happen and it was your fault, really? Oh, yeah. No, that, that were their exact words. Yep. Like, that's not, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen in the factory. That stuff has got to be you, your error. You must have bent those pins and now it's like, oh, man. But man, I don't, I don't think companies can kind of can get away with that crap these days, especially companies like Newegg. You would think they would kiss your butt. No, I found just the opposite. Yeah. Amazon's great though. I've never. I mean, I'm buying more from Amazon lately, more computer stuff. The Newegg is. I mean, I guess if you can talk, I mean, I don't mind talking about that. I guess, but yeah, I've been buying more from Amazon because Amazon have no problem with returning. I've had, I had a bad heart, bad external three uh, TB drive from Amazon. No questions asked, man. They sent the new one out before I, the old one. They were like right on the mic. Wow. I can't say enough good things about Amazon. I, mean, I got the Prime too, but I can't say enough. No questions asked. Oh, you're a good customer. You've been a great customer, sir. You know, I, we'll send another one out. I said, well, anyone said, oh, no. They said, you know, just send this one back when you can. And they sent me the shipping. And it cost me anything to ship it back because Newegg, you got to pay to ship everything back too. Damn, screw that. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I, I, gonna... when I had my shop, I, I remember wanting to buy lots of stuff with Amazon, especially when I had Prime. But they yeah. just they didn't have the stock enough stock yet. I mean, they had hard drives and RAM, and a few other things, accessories. But it wasn't like killer prices. It usually wasn't stocked by Amazon, so the Prime didn't apply. Yeah, the Prime didn't apply. Yeah, yeah. so it was, it's getting better. Yeah, I, I hope. So.